Hey, what's up? I'm Antonio. Welcome back to the channel. And who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to do a fight recap for Stevenson versus Yoshino. Uh, really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time right now. So hit the subscribe button. Only takes a second. Also, while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button. Really only takes a second. Let's just jump into this. First and foremost, I want to say how good and how strong, secure Stevenson looked at 135 pounds. Um, I think this is a very comfortable weight class for him. I think he's going to be there for a long time. And if you notice, especially in the, the weigh-in, he didn't look drained or anything like that. He looked very comfortable. So this is a weight class that he could really cement himself and plant his feet into. Um, it, this fight went exactly the way I said it was going to go. When I did my uh, fight breakdown and prediction, I said that Shakur Stevenson was going to win this fight any way that he chose to. And that's exactly what happened. Yoshino would present a fight. And it was up to Shakur Stevenson to say, I, I accept or I reject. Either way, Shakur Stevenson was going to win. He just has more skills. Um, Yoshino was game. Yoshino came in. Yoshino hit Shakur Stevenson more than I've seen Shakur Stevenson hit with like clean punches. Um, and that's mainly because he put his head down, he trucked forward, and he was just slugging. Um, but like I said, Shakur Stevenson looks good at this weight. He's growing into his body nice. Um, and he's getting into that, that man strength, in which case he can kind of battle guys back and also force them back or, or muscle them back if he has to. Um, honestly, Yoshino's made for, for Shakur Stevenson. No footwork, only comes forward. He's just a slugger. Uh, I mean, and he's all hooks. He's made for Shakur Stevenson. He's a perfect person if Shakur Stevenson is to have a highlight reel. And that's exactly what happened. You know, there's going to be a highlight reel of this. There were two knockdowns in the fight. Um, listen, so Yoshino would just put his head down and kind of lunge forward. And honestly, and I said that in my fight recap. I mean, sorry, my, my fight prediction. I said that. I said his best option is to make a fight of it and make a fight of it very early. And I don't know. I feel like some, maybe somebody sent him one of my videos or something like that because he did try to make a fight out of it. And he did try to make a fight of it early. And kudos to him. Uh, but you know what? Here's the thing about doing something like that. And here's the thing about kind of throwing technique out the window, especially throwing out the window so early. So you just kind of, you're, you're just kind of going. You're, there's, there's not a whole lot of mechanics behind you going, but you're just kind of going. And basically by the time Shakur Stevenson had him down and had, had what he was doing down, I mean, Yoshino was eating right hands. Yoshino was eating a lot of shovel hooks, a lot of check hooks, a lot of uppercuts. I mean, he's just eating all these things. And, you know, like, and Shakur Stevenson is just rolling off of things. I mean, he might get a pop here and there, but he's not getting anything, like, consecutively back to back to back. Um, it was a really good fight. It was a really entertaining fight. It's the most action we've ever seen in a Shakur Stevenson fight ever. And, again, kudos to uh, Yoshino because he pushed that. He forced that. He forced that out of Shakur Stevenson. Styles do make fights. And what you present to me is how I'm going to react to you. So if you give me a boxer and I'm a boxer, we're going to box. If you give me a brawler and I'm a boxer, well, something's going to have to formulate from that. So kudos to Yoshino for giving it, giving it his all and getting up off the canvas and still going. And even when the fight was stopped. He, he still wanted to press forward, and he contested, you know, the stoppage. In which case, I really didn't feel like, if you were going to stop it at that point, then uh, the, the reality was he didn't need, so I'll say it like this, okay, he didn't need to take any more damage. I do agree with that, and it wasn't getting any better for him. I do agree with that, but it wasn't like he was getting a, just completely dusted off or anything like that to where... He just had no choice, or I'm sorry, no chance. Um, and, and we've seen enough fights to know that all it takes is one punch, and somebody could literally be down and out in the dumps and then land a punch. Now, was that the case with a, a Shakur Stevenson? You never know. It could be. I mean, I doubt it. Like, But you never know. You know, I mean, overall, this was an amazing fight. It was a really good card. Like, um, and, and I please be looking on the, on the lookout for... Um, Videos on uh, Jared Anderson and Keyshawn Davis because they're coming as well. Um, but it's just a good card. It was it was a fun card. And, and you know, the young guys did what they were supposed to do. This new generation did what they were supposed to do. They lived up to the hype. They talked a lot of trash. 
especially together, you know, as a group, as a, as a band of brothers, they talked a lot of trash, but they backed every ounce of it up. Um, let's see. Um, was it entertaining? Yes. Um, did it live up to the hype? I said that. Yes. Um, Sh Shakur, what, what's next for him? There's a lot of possibility and opportunity at 135. And he has his eyes set on the winner of Lomachenko and Devin Haney. And he said it himself. He said, Devin Haney's going to beat Lomachenko. He said, easily, he's going to beat Don't Lomachenko. And that goes back to what I said prior about this younger generation. They grew up watching Lomachenko. They know all his moves. They know all of his tricks. Now, unless he's added some more to his arsenal, we'll just have to wait and see. But they know pretty much what he's going to do. They know what he brings to the table. Um, and, and they're prepared for that. They've been studying him. You think Devin Haney was the only guy studying Lomachenko growing up? No. You got Shakur Stevenson's, Trevante Tank Davis's, um, Ryan Garcia's, Pitbull Cruz, all these guys. They've been watching him for, for the longest. So it's it's not a shocker to hear Shakur Stevenson say that, you know, uh, Devin Haney's going to win. It's not, it's not a shocker. And he flat out said it. He's like, yeah, he's going to win. And that that's no brainer. Yeah, he's going to win. Then... He said, well, I want the winner, which would be Devin Haney. And he said, I've been beating him since the amateurs. So this, this is going to be nothing new. But it's how he said it. So he basically said, I'm going to, and, and I'm quoting, I'm going to smoke him. It's going to look so easy how I beat him. And listen, I've always said that Shakur Stevenson was the dark horse of that, that younger generation. I always said of, of, of all the, you know, the Tank, the Ryans, the uh, Tia Fimos, you know, the Devin Haney's. I've always said it was Shakur Stevenson who was going to be the the the, uh, the dark horse. I always said it was going to be Shakur Stevenson. He was the one who was going to rise to the top. And I truly believe that. He's the creme de la creme. And I believe he's the one that's going to rise to the top. Now, the question is, you know, Devin Haney does a lot, of, a lot of talking. And I'm not saying that he doesn't try to back it up. I mean, he did go to Australia to, to fight George Cambosos twice. And he is now taking on Lomachenko. When many people say that he wouldn't take on Lomachenko, he is taking on Lomachenko. So he's a man of, he's a man of his word, and he clearly doesn't have a cowardice bone in his body. So after he defeats Lomachenko, because I've already made my, um, my video, my prediction on that, and I said that he would defeat Lomachenko. I guess the question is, will he take this offer? Will he take the officer, offer of Shakur Stevenson? Will he take on that challenge? And that's a really daring challenge, and I'll tell you why. Because there's not a whole lot of reward in it. Listen, if Devin Haney fights a, a Tank or a Ryan Garcia, well, there's a big payday. So win, lose, or draw, I get a really big payday. You don't get that same amount of money fighting Shakur Stevenson. So I'm going to fight a much more talented, much more skilled, much better boxer for less amount of money, or I can go for the big pot over here, the winner of, of uh, Garcia and, and Davis. I mean, obviously, if, if now, if you're a businessman, that's where you need to go. But if you truly believe in your skills, and I do think Devin Haney, Haney truly believes in his skills, um, I, I think he would be the type that would accept this offer. After all, he did say he's the new Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather fought everybody. Don't don't write anything in those comments. He did. He, I mean, he started in, in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. But who knows? Um, Shakur Stevenson is the man. He's the man riding high right now. He did what he was supposed to do. A lot of people call him a pillow puncher. Well, he got two knockdowns. You know, so you can say whatever you want about that. Um, they, they said that he's too small. Wrong. He was strong. He was strong. He fought somebody in this weight class, and he dominated, completely dominated. So what are you going to say now? I guess the only question is, is anybody up for the challenge? He's here now, so are you up for the challenge? And really, we're talking about Devin Haney. Uh, I know he saw that fight. I know he had to be impressed. Uh, I, I know he's got some thinking to do, because what are you going to do after the Lomachenko fight? Because everybody, including myself, believes that you can beat Vasily Lomachenko, and you will beat Vasily Lomachenko. So what are you going to do after that fight? But you drop your thoughts down below. You tell me, do you think that Shakur Stevenson can beat uh, Devin Haney? Or do you think it's all cap and, and, you know, he's not ready for that test just yet? He just made it to 135. Drop your thoughts down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel.